Alrighty, guys. So, <laughs> I guess I'm mentioned in this video with Tom Dark. Uh, probably because I have some really incredible commentary to provide. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I think I was mentioned in his last video as well. The Tom Dark one, not the Turkey Tom one, right? Two different people. Guys. I've seen it's it. just his original character. Something about the Lol Cow podcast. I think, from what I understand, I couldn't find it in the video. I watched it like a couple of minutes of it, not just like disinterested. I think it's about going on the podcast and they might have reached out to like a fake twitter i don't have a twitter <laughs> so i guess they reached out to a fake twitter that's pretending to be me so maybe that guy could go on i don't think i have much of an interest in going on to that podcast but anyway uh, i guess i'm curious about this uh huge transphobia drama so hey every day same thing right guys and welcome back to the tom dark channel What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tom Dark right. channel. I'm your host, Skibbity. Ah, oh, base. And today's topic is increasingly stinky feet smelling up the whole goddamn place. Gener uh, it depends on the girl. Oh, have been that's... Ruined because of <laughs> okay, here's a... <laughs> what is this? Terrible. This is it. This is how I'm mentioned. This is all you guys wanted me to look at because I'm mentioned in this. This is it. The weird viral Twitter clip going around of me reacting to this video from like a year or two ago and okay. lives are still getting destroyed by it <sighs> incredible dude what the f is going on here he literally put if it was a girl that i would be more into it but it's unfortunately it's a dude it's his feet on the table this goes to a point where it becomes why is it so low quality <laughs> what is happening it's like some kind of a weird fetishized thing should be discrediting these benefits also i think the video is a troll i think i got trolled it's with all this virtue uh -oh. signaling bullshit. oh why it looks like the feet are high quality and i'm low quality is this intentional dude are you guys trying to censor me and uncensor the feet why are we why are we crinkling the feet this is so because gross we're seriously some group was leeching off of our <laughs> own hard work in this our this achievement is supposed to be about transphobia what's happening Can why are his feet getting stinkier and sweatier as time goes on what's happening here now oh, i can't i can't deal with myself i hate fucking watching myself twitter is the number one place for geniuses to congregate never could we ever have imagined that. that one website would be home to the bravest quickest and most innovative minds that was it that was the whole thing that i'm in just a just a just a papa gut moment <laughs> i'm still i'll finish the video in all of mankind and they all okay. gather in one place to i thought it was gonna have something to do with transphobia not my not stinky feet and share their genius and yeah. we as plebeians can afford yeah. the small small fee of our sanity in order to read these tweets i mean my god and today's story takes place and share their genius in order to read say? these tweets i mean my imagine if men had to breastfeed babies using okay i don't i didn't need to God. And today's story takes place on Twitter involving accusations of transphobia, which I feel is a claim I see a lot on Twitter, and a lot of the time it's also unwarranted because the geniuses over at Twitter see the world for what it truly is, okay? The made up story Sorry. inside their head that is actually what happened but to truly understand the story today we're gonna have to go through some context lilith also known as botzer is an artist and indie developer her most popular release is probably bloodborne psx a demake or a remake that converts the game to an older platform or aesthetic that reimagines the title for the playstation one it's pretty cool not gonna lie i'm not really a dark souls guy but sounds I cool like the, way it looks. the effort was so impressive I could pause still with my with my my toes. That it received coverage from outlets like Kotaku and IGN. After this, Lilith became somewhat of an internet personality in her own right. Her YouTube channel amassed over a hundred thousand uh, subscribers with several videos. Are you saying that a, somebody who made a video game is transphobic? Oh. Holy moly, that's a that's a shocker. Who cares? I mean, not that I don't care. I just who cares? You know what I mean? Like, no kidding. No kid, no kidding. Am I right? I was on their way to reach a million. This isn't even her main platform either, with her Twitter currently sitting at over 120,000 followers. This is all to say that her tweets get seen by a lot of people. Well, things became an issue once they left her target audience. As you can probably tell, Lilith takes heavy inspiration from retro 3D games. It's a huge draw to her work in course. contrast to the industry. Of course, standard. who do who doesn't? That is a uh, in yeah industry standard. The sentiment was reflected in a tweet she made on August 1st, 2023. That hmm. day, Lilith shared an image of her fursona. Her what is that? Tweet she made on August 1st, 2020. I have a fursona. Day, Lilith shared an image of her fursona. I have a fursona. Somebody made it for me. I'm going to show you guys. This is the perfect video for me to <laughs> try to find the... Is it this? Oh, nope. That's a screenshot of my... <laughs> oh, that's... Uh... How appropriate. Incredible stuff. Uh, that's... Somebody made... Uh, somebody sent me this screenshot. Um, I didn't find this myself, of course. That would be bizarre. <laughs> that would 
be very bizarre if I had that as a, if I if I was sitting there with that as a screenshot. Um, I know I have the fur the furry stuff in here somewhere. I'll find it and show it to you guys. Huh? Her fursona, bruh, <laughs> bro. We're in dark territory already. You guys yeah. can tell. She posted an image of her sona posed to mimic a Sonic the Hedgehog meme. It reads. I want shorter games with worse graphics made by people who are paid more to work less, and I'm not kidding. Based. Caption continues. I guess that is a commentary on the shitty state of gaming nowadays, which does seem to have a level of truth to it. Although old games are definitely buggy as hell. What is... Oh, there it is! I thought that was a dick for a second. Here we go. Oh, that's my, my, my pony. Somebody sent me this, uh, me as a pony. And then we also have me... We also have me as uh, the Sonic. That's a fursona. Have I shown you our lounge fly collection? This is a pretty, a pretty good picture. Pretty good. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. I thought that was very, how many times did I open that? Very relevant to the conversation. So when I say worse graphics, I mean worse graphics. I want the final models to not be accurate to the concept art. I want the rig weighing to be slightly off. I want the cape to clip through the legs. I want the artist to be able to go home so they can bang their wife. And I'm not kidding. Now this post was pretty lighthearted and people found it kind of funny. So it garnered over 30,000 likes. And of course it was only a matter of time before it faced some backlash. That isn't to say there wasn't any legitimate criticism. Many disagreed with the original message. Or I mean like who gives a shit? Like obviously that's like, I feel, why, were, why was there backlash on that? It's such a normal tweet, no? The meme performative and ineffective. <laughs> then there were several posts telling them to play sh like Garten of Ban Ban. <laughs> I don't even know what that game is, but it just sounds, it sounds bad. But others felt it was just cringe to recreate a meme with your original character. Yeah, of course, meme is cringe. Insert a thousand Turkey Tom memes right now, by the way. Straight cis people, incredible. Uh, arms, arms crossed. Am I right, guys? Losers, creeps, and I heart losers, creeps, and pedos. Wow, incredible. Uh, me too. Discord DMs. Oh, Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, soon we will find out Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what is up with this meme? Is this because of the super mega stuff? The insults quickly became personal as people started making fun of her taste. I want worse Damn. graphics that are actually bad and not le retro low poly like this person wants. Graphics where it's genuinely putrid to look at. Oh, I thought that they were just criticizing modern games. I guess they actually want worse graphics. Huh. Actual what? dog shit visuals. Nothing comprehensible or appealing. Some real cruelty the, type shit, but worse. This is, the, really this is the new direction that my content's going into, you know? Really incredible to look at this person's YouTube account and the early videos are perfectly normal modeling stuff. And then it seems like Bloodborne gave them a bizarre psychosis and they just made their whole personality annoying trans Tumblr witch. Now, this yeah. latter one received over 13,000 likes with the contrary. Was there controversy escalating what the beyond what could reasonably be ignored. Lilith later claimed it reached the point of life ruination, being threatened and even doxxed. Which, if that's real, that is completely ridiculous, and Lilith absolutely did not deserve that, okay? Once again, things apparently got this out of hand over a fucking Sonic meme. Only on Twitter, truly. The mob was clearly going too far, and understandably, her- Why? Why do people care that much about video games? Kind of cringe, if you ask me. Look at that, I have so much control over my toes. <laughs> Supporters made an effort to stand up for her. I saw someone quote retweet this with a grotesque. You know, I will say something from this angle. I look skinnier. I feel like people think I'm so fucking obese. I am obese, but like, I think people think that I'm like boogie fat or wings of redemption fat. And I love the memes when it like, they compare me to wings of redemption. But I feel like if you see me in my glory, like I'm not that big, I'm big, but I'm not that big. You know what I mean? Like I'm not, I'm not pouring out of my boxing suit big, you know? <clears throat> of this character being hung. So I don't really want to hear any Oh, of I'm hung. <laughs> you guys argue with me that the dog pile this person got I'm well hung. Really old me. According to lesbians. Rocket Room Because I got big fingers. $1.99. Get your feet off the screen before I blow babagoo. <laughs> what the <laughs> and replacing Sonic with her online yeah. Sona was even remotely yeah. justified. They rightfully point out. I think they need to make a, a, a Sonic Chew game. How the meme had existed for years and no one cared until her Play post. This. But the point behind this was to <sighs> accuse all of the critics of being transphobic. She didn't say anything wrong, by the they're way. Not, People... Hey, they're not wrong. I'm. <laughs> it's me. Just kidding. 
People repost that Sonic version of this meme all the time, but when a trans girl makes her own version with her character, of course, y'all get on her ass and wildly misinterpret. Should I do this from now on? Should this be the way that I interact with my content? Interpret her tweet because God forbid a trans woman says anything. Now, to be honest, there, there, there definitely seems to be a bit of a dog pile. So this person's post is somewhat understandable, but there is kind of a baseless assertion. Oh, wait, I wasn't really engaging with it. I got to get closer. Sorry. What was it? She didn't say anything wrong, but people repost the Sonic version of this meme all the time. But when a trans girl makes her own version of with her avatar, of course, y'all get on her ass and wildly misrepresent her tweet because God forbid trans woman says anything. I mean, maybe it's because she's trans. Maybe it's just because she's cringe. You know, people will repost it with Sonic, but not with... Uh, you know, their own uh, fursona. So I don't know. Who cares? Like, why, why boil everything down to fucking transphobia? You know? How's that? I'm back. Because God forbid a trans woman says anything. Now, to be honest, there, there, there definitely seems to be a bit of a dog pile. So this person's post is somewhat okay, understandable. Is but there, is Banjo -Kazooie? there is kind of a baseless assertion here that basically anyone who, boy? who does not like this meme, right, is also transphobic. And that leads into what I okay. want to talk about today. On October 18th, oh, a random guy named Unfunny decided to tweet about the original Sonic meme. He says, I hope someday people realize the reason we make fun of this image is the wording and presentation of it, not the message itself. Now, keep in mind, on this picture, there's there's no Lilith. This is the meme before Lilith caught to it, which means uh, that it's yes, just it Sonic is. saying this. And this guy is saying, yes, like, we don't yeah. like the presentation of it, you know, whatever that may mean. And when I say this is just some guy, I do mean it. Not to try to, like, big league him or whatever, but he has 4,000 followers, which is nothing in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to Lilith, who has over 100,000. Whoa! Well, maybe that's why she got hate, because she's popular. In spite of the fact that he used the original <laughs> image and doesn't even mention her at all, Lilith saw it, apparently, and took it very personally. In the replies, she accused him of rewriting history before don't you dare try to rewrite what happened. Wait, did she? Wait, hold on. Well, Lilith saw it apparently, in spite of the fact. Well, which one came first? This is October 18th. We got to go back. We got to go back in time. We got to go find the original one. August 8th. Okay, so it might have been about her. Maybe, because hers was August 8th. Um. But I don't know why she still cares about it months later. Try to rewrite what happened. I was doxxed over this. There were bomb threats that people took credit for and bragged about. Fetish art was drowned in my OC in an attempt to smear me. And it's kind of hot. Wait, that's disgusting. Where could I find that? What? Animations were made of me being Jesus Christ. Now you have the audacity to act like y'all were just poking fun at it because of the wording. Don't you dare. So clearly, uh, based from Lilith's sure. perspective, this guy is included in you know the doxers and, and swatters and whatever else, right? I don't think that's what she's doing. I think that her, from her perspective, she's just saying like, "Hey, you're downplaying it." And maybe he was. Maybe he was uh, indirectly doing that. Maybe he wasn't. I don't fucking know. I, I, I. Right now, that would spark another account to put him on blast. This time as a separate Queen Elizabeth herself. That bitch came back from the fucking dead just to criticize this guy. Post. Uh, oh, it sounds like he... What, what is this? I hope someday people realize we make fun of this image is the wording, not the message itself. Oh, it sounds like he was directly referencing her. They Where they kind of repeated, do enjoy her. Don't you dare read my history. Am I doing good? Literally everyone agree with it. me or George Ray or Ebony or Spin on it. And we saw a great your ass and dogs relatedly. We're not doing this revisionist history bullshit. The way he was reading was actually evil. I don't know. Kind of just, uh, I ran through a, a couple of different versions of that <coughs> accent there. It's m very minor variations of it. Um, cool. Queen Elizabeth. I will say, I don't think Queen Elizabeth would like trans people very much at all. I feel like she probably fucking hates trans. I feel like she probably fucking hates trans people. <laughs> That's why she's fucking dead. And I'm just kidding. Uh, rest in peace, I guess. I didn't really care. I feel like, why are you guys still paying a royal family to do nothing? Like, honestly, loser shit. It says, don't you dare rewrite history. Literally everyone agreed with this image until a trans artist put their own spin on it and were subsequently harassed and doxed relentlessly. We're not doing this revisionist history BS. The way she was treated was actually... <laughs> no Did I sound just like her, dude? That's crazy. That's fucking awesome. I, I, I thought I was close. This call out was liked over 20,000 times alongside another post, which itself received 38,000 likes. Not only uh, did they based. flood the original post with hate, but one even suggested that they basically get revenge on this person by saying, Kissing tiny him. part of me want to find everything about this dude and just dox him for straight up denying it. Yeah, it sounds like everybody on Twitter is hateful. So, you know, I was considering posting clips on Twitter for my stuff because I'm already posting it on TikTok and YouTube and shorts and um instagram and it's like maybe this is the maybe don't um excuse me sorry maybe don't because these people can't act people on twitter don't know how to act 
you know, I've dealt with TikTok canceling shit. I feel like it pales in comparison to this insanity. People are unhinged on both sides, trying to dox people and this and that. Holy fuck. But that would make me know better and it won't solve anything. Thankfully, this was a very small minority, but it was all a bit quick given, you know, there was no evidence the post was even about Lilith. So while not everyone's calling for this guy to be doxxed, everyone is basically calling this guy like a transphobe, and I don't think that's true. The OP even attempted yeah, yeah. to clarify this several times, only to be ignored. I wasn't even mentioning your version of the image, even if you popularized it. I'm sorry those things happen, but I was just talking about the people who were using it before you did. Oh, okay, maybe that's true. Who cares? Yeah. Fact you haven't responded. This is like a, it's a matter at all. Yeah. To Lilith is telling. She roasted you. I literally damn, it's so telling. Really did. You just chose to ignore it. Pretty much everyone agreed with this message as it is until a trans girl posted a version of it, which made people suddenly hate it. Which sure, say it's the wording. I mean, maybe that trans girl should have posted her tits with it. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Okay. You know. I mean, honestly, it's, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right now, you got the LGBTQs community, specifically trans people, absorbing the racist blows. Because think about it. I feel like there's been less racism since we've had transphobia. Because now it's more socially acceptable to be super transphobic. And that's not okay to be transphobic. Because if you're transphobic, you're a bad person. But they're just, ultimately, trans people are just helping defend the black community. Because the most socially acceptable thing to do right now bigotry wise is to harass trans people um and it's kind of true it's kind of the truth but my thing is is that show us your tits you know what i mean i feel like maybe that, <laughs> i'm just kidding if you're a kid don't do that it's obvious. i don't want to see them in general okay relax it's just a fucking joke but i do think it's true i think that oh. trans people are absorbing the racist blows <laughs> uh the, the, you know they're fucking hitting them like a like a Jojo character, you know? Blaming it on transphobia is pretty weird when it has nothing to do with that, to be honest. No matter what he said, they were adamant the image never received backlash until her edit, or that, like, nobody even could conceivably disagree with it. Somehow, everyone in the world agreed with this picture, okay? And then when a trans person posted it, every single person in the world disagreed. Despite the fact you're on Twitter, which in my experience is relatively, like, trans-positive, trans-inclusive, there is the, the whole, like, valid L's side of things, which is pretty, pretty wild, okay? Yeah, but yeah, that is yeah. still like a subset there are a lot of trans people on twitter there's a lot of trans positive people on twitter are there yeah, some people yeah. that did not like the post just because a trans person said it yeah probably a good amount again people hate trans people i just feel like this isn't the instance somebody would like why defend this like this one doesn't like it doesn't matter yeah is that everyone no of course not and to believe other there's just a platform for everybody to give you their perspective <laughs> on it like unasked for yeah otherwise is delusion now the original meme in question has existed since 2020 with the phrase Whoa. first written by user jordan mallory it went viral resulting in the creation of the sonic version oh, that november scared. this post has over 40,000 likes but somehow it spread further for the next three years it did circulate across message boards and social media to discuss the video game industry that discussion contrary to this new narrative was not always positive there are literally hundreds of examples but i'm going to point out three in particular the first dates as far back as august of 2021 before the meme was even a year old people love to focus on the shorter games with worse graphics part of that while ignoring made by people who are paid more to work less is this supposed to be like a like a twig like a hot take is this like one of the hottest takes on twitter complaining about shit like that i feel like what the fuck what if what if what if, what, if, what, if, what if, jerk off man go do something productive jerk your dick off or go fucking get a job or something or work or just play video games do something productive that will make you happy there's no way that twitter makes anybody happy people sit on twitter oh let me argue and debate about some of the dumbest shit nobody cares about wow that's so productive i don't know go do anything go get a hobby go get a job work overtime do nothing. Watch a movie. Play video games. Do nothing. There's nothing enjoyable about Twitter. Why are you on Twitter? <clears throat> How does that help you? I don't think it does. I think that you just want to harm yourself. I think Twitter Twitter is just a new way to self-harm. Like, just stop. Stop Twittering. Stop tweeting. Stop doing that shit, bro. Do something else. Anything. Jerk off. Anything's more productive than Twitter. Literally. Unironically. And then we have this other reply from Vincent that says, My issue with the quote is more that it defangs itself by implicitly directing this demand toward commercial, usually blockbuster publishers. The next example is dated oh November God. 2022. It was actually in reply to Lilith. I can't believe I'm fucking reacting to this video. <laughs> herself. I've been thinking about that quote and I don't Fuck. think I've actually come to disagree with it as a dichotomy because you can have short, bad looking games that people are crunched mercilessly over and theoretically you can have massive hi-fi games that developed at a healthy pace. Uh, sure. 
games are cool. There's different games. Play them. Play them. Yeah, it's kind of bad messaging to imply the games would be consistently worse or less refined if the game industry wasn't terrible. Finally, this tweet from December that was seen over 16,000 people, and this is the last example we're going to look at. Image that solely exists to be posted after a crunchy controversy. Excuse me, Papa, it's called X now. Oh my god. Yeah, tw even Twitter's got a new fucking pronoun. <laughs> god damn it, dude. Oh, Elon Musk is going to buy Twitter. He's going to save it. Buys Twitter immediately, makes it non-binary. Are you serious? You know what I mean? You know, I, I'm not saying anything negative against non-binary people. I'm just saying, like, well, I fucking love trans people. You know, I, 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 I love... <laughs> I'm just saying, this is fucking weird, no? He comes out, so everybody knows where you stand before going back to a AAA game. And if you're not convinced, just read through the replies. You can clearly see that there was discussion of this meme in a negative context before, you know, Lilith was even involved. This image is a hell of a bait post. This is one of those things no one actually truly wants. Everyone then turns around and complains when a game is too short or has ugly visuals. I just, I kind of, I kind of just want WoW, WoW Classic Plus. That's all I want. You know, that'd be cool. Nice. I think it'd be a lot less dismissive of people who post this image if more of them admitted it's because they're supporting their amateur game dev friends. Okay, okay, that one is just that one's just totally true. Shorter games, worse graphics? Shut up. I think their mistake is that they forgot this meme has been around for years. That's an eternity for most of the dumb shit that gets popular online. It's uh, not really that surprising true. people grew sick of it over time. It's gotten mm. old. Even those in support of its argument have taken issue with the phrasing. None of this was particularly hard to track down either. Like I'm not some some super genius. <gasps> is this a Disney reference? <laughs> Uh, what game is this? Yes, okay. Those people are on Twitter. I'm over here on YouTube, which I would argue everyone on YouTube is missing a chromosome, but it was super easy to find this. Oh, the damn. examples took at most a few... That's fucked up, bro. But hey, you know what? That's why my wife works with people like that for a living, so at least she's got plenty of work. ...few minutes to find. So, to put it bluntly, <laughs> the idea this was all the fault of transphobia is insane. They have... Con I mean, again, there might have been a factor that they identified the person as trans and they decided to be super transphobic to them and, like, care about what they're saying because they don't like trans people. Do People do that shit all the time. Uh, Twitter's toxic. There's a bunch of toxic trans people on Twitter. There's a bunch of toxic non-trans people. There's a bunch of toxic everything. Every all the worst of every community is on Twitter. Whether it's an activist community or like an anti-activist community, we'll call it. Um, so maybe I just don't think. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like don't be transphobic. I feel like that this is one of those instances where like okay, uh, yeah. whoa. Sorry, I think I messed up my. <clears throat> Did I mess up my microphone? So weird. Okay. Anyway. Um, transphobia bad is the point. I can hear myself. It's really irritating me. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Let's keep going. Continued to leave the posts up even after being shown indisputable proof that they were wrong. Like Queen Elizabeth over here, do enjoy her, who made one of the affirmations. Okay, I get it. A lot of people didn't like the image even mentioned callouts in question. Okay, I get it. A lot of people didn't like the image even beforehand, but that doesn't excuse people using it as an excuse to be transphobic. I mean, yeah, it doesn't, but there's literally... Listen, here's the thing. It might be transphobic. But the problem is, is now fucking everything is transphobic. There's, there's people in the world, <clears throat> mostly young <laughs> white kids, I don't know why, that will call everything, everything. Well, no, you know what? It's not young white kids. There are any, any person uh, connected to any group, any, with any identity. There's now this thing where the first thing that they think is that there's, there's some, some kind, kind of, of you know, phobia attached to it. And so they filter everything through the phobia. So some trans people are like, oh my God, something bad happened to me. It must be transphobic. Or a black person does the same thing uh, with the racer or, you know, whatever. A white person maybe even does the same thing too. A bunch of, everybody's a crybaby nowadays that wants to use what could be mental health, could be ADHD, autism, OCD. It's that everybody, everybody is very quick to, you know, make it seem like every issue is contributed to some some kind of identity that's very center or core to them. Fuck. And if you look at it like that, do I sound better? Do I sound better now? If you look at things through that lens, that's where you'll end up with a problem. Do I look better? Do I sound better or what? Is it fucked ups or what? Really, no reason to believe this tweet that you quote tweeted is transphobic. I mean, you're sending this guy a ton of sh here. It's truly shocking how easily Lilith has been framed as the victim here when let's really look at the full picture of what happened. Lilith saw a random person complaining about the original meme, assumed it was about herself, then accused him of transphobia. Now that claim has been shown to millions of people, with even some threatening to dox this guy. By attempting to preemptively call out harassment, they have effectively harassed some poor dude for literally no reason. Damn, Instead of apologizing or even acknowledging the mistake, they doubled down even when it makes no f sense and there was a time when lilith actually Man, i can't believe we're harassing poor people now we were i'm just kidding i harass poor people all the time worried about accidentally causing a harassment campaign and in this case they accidentally did so the very least they could do dude because i missed the spot to censor
do is like delete their replies and issue a retraction. But personally, I, I wouldn't really hold my breath for that. Once again, people on Twitter know that they actually do that. The best thing to do, they know the most genius big brain thing to do. They have extra chromosomes, which actually makes them super intelligent. I'm lacking those chromosomes. You know, they got them fair and square. Survival of the fittest, know what I'm saying? Um, so realistically, they know what's best to do. They know the best path forward. Ultimately, if everything Lilith said about being harassed back when this meme actually blew up um, is true, then obviously I feel bad for them and everybody else should, right? Even if you don't like trans people, I don't think you should advocate for them being like doxxed and, and swatted and having bomb threats, right? But oh, wow. Base take. Thank you. Thanks. But this whole thing where they now go after some random guy with a 30th of their following because he posted a meme which existed before them, it's kind of insane, bro. I don't know if Lilith's mind is so traumatized that she can't see reality for what it truly is and is just like imagining transphobia in this case and their brain is, is a way to be a victim. I don't I don't really know. But yeah. I mean, listen, again, it could be possible that someone who's being transphobic or again, nowadays, everybody filters everything through their identity. So if somebody is trans now, Every time something bad happens, some people will go, oh, this must be transphobia. Or if they're a person of color, every time something bad happens, to them, oh, it must be because they're racist. Or same thing with anything. It could be religion. It could Whatever the core identity of a person is now, they filter everything through that, and they think that everything bad that happens to them has to be some kind of bigotry towards whatever identity that they possess because people are obnoxious and they're annoying. And they need to shut up. <laughs> That's it. That's all it goes out to. It's like, okay, I get it. Shut the fuck up. Stop complaining. Sometimes, sometimes things happen to you because life sucks, not because you're some kind of a protected class, just to be clear. Yeah, this guy, like, did not do anything wrong. Hopefully, Lilith goes back to making games or whatever. It sucks to be a genuine victim, but a lot of the people on Twitter go out of their way to find ways to make themselves a victim. And in this specific case, that is what happened. The only victim is Unfunny Meat on Twitter, who's goaded with the sauce. I don't actually know anything about this guy, so maybe he's he's effed up in some other regard. But listen, I'm not hardcore vouching. I'm just saying, Unfunny Meat, goaded with the sauce. And speaking of victims, now I'm a victim, and so are all of you watching, because we had to watch this stupid sh happen for 10 and a half half ten and a half your mom minutes ten and a half your mom minutes and counting thanks for watching i've been tom dark and it's till next time follow me on the gram tom but dark shout outs ow and if you liked this video consider becoming a member for five dollars a month you get access to exclusive i swear to god this i swear to god that tom is gonna become a fucking femboy ow. and if he's like he's literally just like one if he was associated with a different community this this dude he is fucking finster I swear to God, tomboy, as your as your fuck. What do you do? Listen, I see the I see the memes. I see the PFPs. I see you looking like some questioning young man. Not a man. I don't know. Well, that's up to you. That's your. I mean, you do you. Um, but this guy's close. Or this guy was real close. He's like right on the. All he has to do is become friends with Keffels, and this dude's gonna go full blown fucking Finster or something. I'm just saying. Anyway, the video's fine. Uh, the topic wasn't my cup of tea. I don't know. You guys kept telling me I was in it. Uh, great intro. Nice to see me in some other <laughs> It's been a while since I've been in someone else's video. So, hey, you know what? Very cool. Very base. Gotta love it.